Hello, this is whatever you want to play and welcome to part one of Let's Play Sly HD Sly Cooper and the Stevious Raccoon. Now anyways, um one thing I need to state. I'm going to talk during some Bentley cutscenes, but not a lot. Only Bentley cutscenes that I find like talkable over. So yeah, you gotta really bear with me on this. But anyways, let's press select, go to load game, go to new game, yes I have a 100 percent file game, but anyways. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Anyways, we're gonna go this way. And, oh crap, no, no. Go up here. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Y'all got that? All you have to do is just hold the circle button near blue auras. It's really simple to explain, but for me it would have been difficult. But anyway, squares to attack, X is to jump, and well, you already know what circle does. Anyways, you're gonna be careful right here so you don't uh, trip the alarm because Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus is, is a thieving game and it's a platformer also. And I have to admit, I love platformers. Anyways, we're gonna nice go this job. way. Then Inspector we're gonna go Carmelita this Fox way. And this is. The the and, uh, this is Inspector Carmelita Fox's office. I got tongue tied again. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna destroy her office a little, get some coins, coins are very important in this game, um, they give you one-ups and horseshoes, horseshoes allow you to like take damage without dying, anyways, we're, there's the safe right there. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. You're gonna dial in 9? No, oh, crap. No, 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 no. No. 3. 3 and 7. Okay, let's see what we got here. Come on. Ooh, some files. Awesome. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Oh yeah, I will not talk during some Murray cutscenes because some can can be like very funny. But anyways, we're gonna go over here. Criminal. You foolish raccoon! I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita, I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my. Hey, you know. That bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. <laughs> I swear, you gotta love how much his flirt sly is. It's so hilarious. That's... That what makes his character. He's so charming, yet so awesome at the same time. Anyways, we're gonna go over here. Come on, come on, can we dodge at this spot? If you get hit, you die. As you can imagine. Oh crap, no, 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 no. I was thinking of the Slice 2 controls, because in Slice 2 you can sprint, but anyways, you can't in this game. Oh crap, 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 crap. Anyways, you're gonna jump in the van. You can't escape me, raccoon!
Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievius raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Anyways, we are heading to I'm our next stage. So let's go here. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh Triangle. Okay, you just gotta love how in each Sly episode, they always name it and it always looks so awesome. Anyways, we're gonna go over here, destroy this, and Bent- Huh, that's weird, Bentley usually talks around. Oh, never mind. Hey Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. See, that's why I don't like talking over the Sly and Bentley cutscenes. They always have some funny banter with each other. Anyways, we're gonna store these. These are clue bottles. They allow you to unlock safes, and well, when you unlock a safe, you get you get a power-up move. Anyways, we're gonna store this, and we got some extra bottles. I'm gonna go over here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I wish I could run faster, but I can't. Anyways, um, remember you can only climb on like ropes and ladders as Bentley put it <laughs> which I have, which I think is hilarious then we're gonna just jump over here jump over here climb up here get, get this bottle now you're gonna continuously climb over here 
But yeah, um, I just love the writing in this game. It's so friggin' hilarious, and it's one. And to me, it's one of a kind. It's really, it's really hilarious, and that's why I love Sly Cooper in most platformers because you usually have like someone who's the funny person. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Are you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Anyways, they're gonna go over here. Oh, crap, crap, crap. No, do not, do not get into searchlights. If you get into searchlights, you will be burnt. You, uh, you basically die, but you understand what I mean. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I don't know what you call that enemy. I'll probably put up the name of the enemy soon. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't miss any clue bottles. When you're looking for clue bottles, you're gonna be want you're gonna want to like look all over like the area just in case. But anyways, we're gonna go over here. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> Amphibial weather, weather machine? Oh, uh, come on. Seriously? Uh, that's that's just kind of funny. Anyways, we're gonna go over here. Come on, come on. You're gonna want to continue jumping. If you don't continue jumping in water like this, oh, you could die. Oh yeah, Sly cannot swim. Sly can't swim. So the only time he can actually touch water would be in this part of the stage. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Jump and hit the circle button. Yeah, that's a famous line in this game. Anyways, we're gonna go over here. I can't I can't help but feel like as if I didn't get all the clue bottles. Ooh, but but I don't really but I don't really have time to worry about that now, do I? So we're gonna go over here. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, got a save point. Crap, crap, crap. Ah, crap. And I activated the arm. But I did not mean to do that. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes. Uh, and we got 16 out of 20. We're gonna go this way. Whatever you do, do not hit that. Do not hit that yet. What we're gonna want to do is get the clue bottles first. Get this. Get this. And go over here. Oh yeah, when you get a hundred coins, um, you get like a horseshoe, an extra life. No, you get a horseshoe, to, you get a silver horseshoe the first time. When you get two hundred coins, you get a golden horseshoe. And when you get like three hundred, you get like a life. But it's really hard to explain because, um, well, if you get hit, if you have a golden horseshoe and you get hit, you turn it turns back into a silver horseshoe. And well, you know what happens with a silver horseshoe. But anyways, we're gonna. Get this vault. The to enter the vault code. Come on, what's the vault code, Bentley? Come on, come on. Tell me. Is seven, nine, seven, nine, two. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, it's gonna be something good, isn't it? Let's see, let's see. Sly, you found a page uh, from the yep, that's a page from Athevius Raccoonus. Old Drake Cooper. Cooper. That sounds like a song. But um, we got the fast attack dive move. The way you use power ups is triangle. Pretty simple. The more power ups you get, I believe you press the L2 to so like L2 and R2 to so like switch the power ups. Either that, it's L1 or R2. I mean L1 or R1. But anyways, we're gonna hit the key, and we got it. Keys are very important. So, anyways, let's go on to the next part of the stage. Through the portal we go! It's called Prowling the Ground. Seriously, I like that name. But anyways, we're gonna go up here. Double jump. Ah, no, no, no. 
Anyways, we're gonna go through here. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. But don't mention it. It's your funeral. Well, as Bentley just explained, that's how treasure keys are important. They help you get through the level. Um, you usually only have to collect treasure trees, treasure keys twice. Wow, you found gonna jump over here, jump over here, go up here, go up here, and ooh, an important announcement. Yeah, I just took damage, and I'm sorry for pausing. I just wanted y'all to hear, like, Raleigh's little speech. So, <laughs> but we can't get another horseshoe from here. First, we're going to kill this guy. <laughs> then, we're going to go this way. Come on, come on, come on. Jump up here. Go over here. And we got another horseshoe. But yeah, y'all saw what happened when I took... When I took a hit, I didn't die when I usually would die. But anyways, on the next part of Let's Play Sly Cooper and Decevious Raccoonist, we will be tackling one of these lucky stages. This is whatever you want to play here, and bye bye